Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and this is going to be a very short video because I know that you people are deeply engrossed in your JE main session 1 preparation that's going to happen in January. So I've already made one or two videos on uh, how to go about your preparation. We have already launched a 30 day plan in our Physics Sergi app and a lot of students have taken up that plan uh, and there were some free resources and there were some paid resources. So the response for both has been very good. And what is uh, really encouraging for me is that the students have taken the advice very seriously of uh, focused learning. Okay, so in order to guide you in the similar sense, uh, and I, have, I was actually forced to make this video. I was very busy with uh, all the activities in our apps that I was not finding any time, but I sincerely felt uh, in the last one or two days that I have to make this video. So this is because a lot of students have been uh, DMing me in the uh, app, personal messages in the app about their recent performances in the mock test that they are writing, choosing to write uh, with different institutes, these different sources that they have taken, right? And what is alarming and I can understand is that a lot of students were not having the similar kind of performance that they expect of themselves. So for example, it's a 300 marks paper, so they're not even crossing 200. And they were uh, uh, shocked. They are uh, tensed. They are uh, suddenly very, very vulnerable to uh, all this uh, preparation mania that they have, especially 10, 15 days to go for the exam. So the advice that I actually gave to the students in the personal messages, I just wanted to put it out in the public. So as you could see in the thumbnail, first and foremost, I'll come to the free resources as we move along the slides. But the first and foremost advice that I would give, especially with only 10 to 15 days to go for your uh, uh, JE main session one, is to do not to write any ultra tough mock test. You might have taken up some programs of which uh, mock tests are part and parcel just because they're given for free or part and parcel of your preparation, there is no need for you to write. When you realize, especially if those papers are not to the level of JE mains, how do you know the level of JE mains? There are so many PYQs that are given to you, uh, either by your teachers or by me, myself in our app. I have already selected the PYQs year-wise, chapter-wise and given it to you. So by now, you should have a fair bit of an idea of... Uh, what should be the level of JE mains? And if you're writing exams and you're finding questions where they're just dumping questions of JE advanced and above level into and calling it as so-called JE mains, that is not a good practice. And actually that's uh, going to harm your preparation more than aid. Okay, so let's go further into the slides right, and see what I wanted to convey in this particular video. All right, before we move on to that, I've already uh, showed you the importance of the select PYQs. In case you are a new student, I would like to or request you to go through that particular video. The link of that video is in the description below or the I button above. And also, uh, before you move on to uh, the JE mains examination, a lot of students have been asking me about putting up some videos on extra syllabus, right? Uh, a lot of students do forget that this channel is there in existence right from 2020. You might have subscribed recently and students mistake uh, the apps, current absence of a particular teacher on his channel uh, into thinking that no material is there in that particular channel. There are a lot of free material that was there, uh, that was quality material that was put up in the last two years in this particular channel. And there is a lot to utilize. A uh, lot of students are very, very lazy uh, to not go through the playlists of this particular channel. And uh, what they think is whatever is being currently put up is the only uh, resource. It's not true. So you need to just watch out for this playlist. This contains all the important PYQs that can guide you on the extra syllabus that usually is taught less uh, or given less importance by teachers around in their coaching centers. So this is the playlist. This is the thumbnail, how it looks like. So please make sure you use that particular resource uh, especially in an exam-oriented manner it was covered. So you'll know the importance once you go through it. As I said in the previous uh, video, there was a 30-day uh, plan that was launched in our uh, Physics Surgery app, right? The thumbnail of that particular course in the app uh, looks like this. So in that, if you go in and press on it, there is a free resource that would be there where PYQs were given, some plan was given, everything was free in that uh, plan and everything. So please make sure you utilize that. And once you go into that, I have added one more folder this time uh, before making this particular video. As you could see, once you go into that 30-day plan inside the Physics Surgery app, 
at the top you would find 2022 pyqs paper wise solutions till now all the select pyqs that you see at the bottom were made uh, in terms of uh, you could say chapter wise now i have put up 2022 all june june 2022 and july 2022 somewhere around 12 plus 12 24 papers were there so i have taken those papers from the internet and uh, given all three subjects so these are not made by me so they are all compiled at one place into one file okay so all the Question papers are in this particular file once you press into this and all the solutions and you could see I've unlocked them for everyone. It's free for everyone. Okay, right. So and the credit should go to the people who have made these papers. Right. And it, my job is to just uh, provide you with the uh, free resource here. Okay, right. And uh, also solutions uh, contain the corrections to the NTA key. So in case of any ambiguity. So how to use this? Make sure you go inside each file. Only a single file, all papers are there and single file, all solutions are there. So go to the June 2022, there are 12 papers, choose only two. Now, which ones to choose? Choose randomly. That's what happens to you also in the actual exam. You'll get random paper, right? Your shift, random paper. So choose any two. And similarly for July 2022, choose any two, all three subjects. Use a scribble pad as if you're doing it and our uh, app actually works on Android mobile phone. So in that you keep scrolling. Use your scribble pad, write exam honestly for three hours, all three subjects. This is much better than writing unbalanced to tough AITS in the last one week. Don't do that. Okay, so four exams is what I request you to write in this particular one week. And uh, three hours is not a big time. Remember, you can study for the rest of the day, but writing three hours for four days in the coming week is an absolute must and that too, the 2022 papers to give you an idea of how much time you need to give for maths, how much to physics, etc, etc. Okay, so choose any four, two from June and two from July shift. Okay, and extra, if in case you have doubts, I've already mentioned in the past video also, and it has been a very successful uh, uh, effort. Uh, there is a doubts group for the 30 day plan. So you can take the resource for free, but you want to ask your doubts. Uh, you can just pay 300 rupees and join the doubts group. It's almost like a WhatsApp group within the app. And I've explained all the details of that in the video. So check that video out. And also for those who have paid, I gave four bonus GTMs every Sunday. It's happening. By the time I was recording this video, three have already happened. One more is pending. So this is the second free resource because a lot of students have been requesting that apart from these PYQs, they want an authentic paper where... Uh, questions are to the level of JE mains and they want to test themselves. So one more, uh, you could say effort from my side to extend a helping hand to the students. The fourth GTM that's going to happen in the coming Sunday is free for all. Whether you have taken crash course, whether you have taken uh, the doubts group or whether you have not taken them, it doesn't matter. Everyone is al allowed to access that particular file that I'm going to upload on the coming Sunday. So the exam is going to be called GTM means grand test means grand means full syllabus M means means. So this is a common uh, symbol we'll be using even in the future. GTA means grand test advance. Okay. So the fourth one is going to be free. It will be on full syllabus and detailed solutions in the PDM format will be also given for free to all the students. Okay. Only thing you need to do is you need to download the app because the file will be released in that app in the same folder that I have shown right here okay so below this you can see grand test means already six files are there three are the papers and three are the solutions so you'll end up having this fourth gtm and the gtm that i am preparing will be only on physics okay whereas these ones that i'm asking you to write uh the old papers they are all three subjects okay so that i need to clarify so that there's no confusion so just in order to download the app uh, only for android mobiles the steps are in the pinned comment below. Also check the app launch video for the rules and regulations of that. Or how to use and all that. That's the basic ones that you already know. So that's it. And uh, thanks for staying this long. All the best with your preparation. Hope to see you uh, uh, do those PYQs. Ask your doubts. And also make sure that you uh, write the, four, the fourth GTM that's going to happen on Sunday. Okay. See you in the Physics Sergi app. Thanks a lot.